the pile's getting bigger. Pretty soon we're gonna have a bunch of ductwork out here for the scrap guy. Welcome back. We're here doing a change out. We're gonna be swapping this old 80% Heil out, all new ductwork. Um, this is a four inch. We're gonna replace this with a six inch. We're gonna build a new plenum. All new ductwork here. Um, and these are all four inch. Uh, new boots, everything's new. Uh, we're going to be replacing all this stuff. Um, we may come off the top and roll down. I'm not sure yet. Uh, new line sets. We're going to be dropping a 5-inch liner down this. Uh, redoing all the venting. Uh, it's going to have the April Air 1610 there. New pump. And we're going to be replacing this old AC. Uh, I'm going to probably move it down. Uh, move it down here maybe just to kind of get it out of the way from the gate uh, Kind of clean it up a little bit because that's the way it is now. It's kind of Yes, right there. Uh, so we'll probably move that down Coil's a little dirty. Very important to uh, make sure you keep your air ducts clean and change your filters. Now, this has been in there for 30 plus years, so it's bound to expect it to be dirty, but make sure you keep your filters clean. We have updates. Got the old one out. Heat exchanger actually looks pretty decent. It's 28 years old. Um, I thought I'd seen a couple spots down there, but it wasn't. Just some some average wear, but yeah. So these 16 tens come with a new filter. We can order these right on my website um, or underneath the filter tab, hotairnow.com. And then, uh, so basically, airflow, these things here, they just slide in these little channels. You got these little grooves here. And then, two in the bottom, two in the top. It just slides in. Remember, the arrow goes towards the furnace. It slides in like that. And that's all there is to that. Um, these, I think, are the best, minus the Linux, uh, whatever that is. If, if you know the name of that Linux one, bleep loop it down in the comment section below. Um, but these April layers are really nice filters. And stay tuned, because I have, I got this idea off Mikey Pipes. Thank you, Mikey Pipes. But uh, I haven't seen what he did yet, but I have something very special for my new jobs that I'm gonna be putting on for the filters and it's gonna be epic. So stay tuned and you'll see it. All right, I have updates. Tyler looks like a little hood rat. <laughs> <laughs> He's been working hard. This, this place has been dusty. We took down all the round pipe. Um, it had probably 60 years of dust. You know, that was all four inch, um, which you almost think it would be like high velocity. <laughs> Static pressure would be crazy if we left that. So yep, took all the all the round pipe down. We're gonna reuse this. This is just for the basement. Um, we're gonna clean up. So all the heat runs came through here. So I think we're going to, I'm gonna come over here, shoot it over the plenum and then down into the front. That's for the bathroom. And then this one here, we're gonna shoot that straight across. And um, we're gonna come out. So when we get back, we gotta clean all this stuff, but we're gonna come out here. 
run this across and then tie it in. It's going to look nice. Uh, we're going to go on lunch, and when we get back, I'll come back and build the plenum, um, build the transition for this. All right, I'm uh, working on the metal. This is my uh, plenum. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm laying this out. I'll get that cut out. So on my plenums that I make, um, basically you lay it out the dimensions of what your furnace or coil is. You do your quarter inch. This is your double hem seam. Then on the top, I do uh, the Pittsburgh, and then obviously the Pittsburgh on the side, because this side of the quarter will go inside this one. Uh, but I know some metal makers make them different where they have the machine or tool, but I do a, I do a quarter inch top, which will go down here, and then I pound this in, and I'll show you that too. But a lot of times they'll take the, the top and they'll do they'll come up back down again and then that'll sit inside this will be raw kind of like this here uh, but I do mind I've done this for years but I'll show you the final product once I get this done I just wanted to show you how I layer everything out okay here's my top uh, so we're 19 and a half by 13 so you want to do a half inch on each side so we do a 20 by 13 and a half I'll cut this down do the quarter which will go inside this all right there uh just got that put on knock down the hems still got to get some caulk and caulk my corners um but there's the the finished product uh 35 and a half tall 13 by 19 and a half dimensions that'll be going on top of the case coil on the furnace updates got the right there got the line set ran um yep it's uh it's quarter after five we started about oh, a little after nine this morning we're uh we're tired got the plenum done got the transition done for the return got the line set all ran outside tomorrow morning we'll be back to do the liner Hook everything up with that, new vent pipe for there, hook up the AC, and then we'll start the ductwork going across. Uh, everything's coming right along. Um, yeah, we should be done oh, probably sometime early Thursday. So, yep, that's just some updates, and we'll see you in the morning. And it's the next morning. Morning, Tyler. Good morning. What you got on your head? Don't worry about it. <laughs> he's he's got his hair braided so he's got his little do man rag but i still love him he's my boy um yeah so this morning we're gonna be taking this all off uh dropping the liner down up above i'll get you some shots on that and um we'll finish up the ac uh hooking all that up and outside and uh yeah we'll get you some shots for we got to pull the liner and all that stuff don't we tyler yep those are always fun. Not too bad. This roof's not that bad either, so we'll see you on the other side. Alright, so... So if I take this thing off... Existing liner 
So I'll take this piece off and then I'll uh, just leave my 16 by 16 flashing and caulk everything, screw it down, we'll be good to go. So that'll work out good. Okay, hold on. Let's measure that. I need like 16 feet. Oh yeah, that's more than enough. Yep. And this will go down like that. Like that. This one's gonna be pretty easy, so pretty straightforward. Straight down. Okay, so then what I like to do a nice seal. Maybe even throw some on the edge. This one's a pretty simple one. Some screws and I'll cack the screw holes and we'll be good to go. Wish all laners were this easy. And just a little dab around that. So we have no leaks. Just a little bit of insurance on the edge. Oh, I'm about running out. There. That's how you drop a liner, chimney liner down. Like I said, this one's an easy one because it's all flat. You didn't even have to, normally you would have to measure this. Uh, this is 16 you do your center which would be eight then you kind of go off your measurements there do an inch down um, but yeah this one was really easy because it was all uh, flat and this was uh, easy peasy so that's how you do a liner you're probably asking yourself Chris what is the purpose of a liner good question a chimney liner you got to match it up with the BTUs of the furnace the appliance you're putting it in uh, basically it kind of keeps the, the chimney area smaller so the furnace doesn't condensate. Even though it's an 80%, you have to have the proper size liner to for draft, even though these new furnaces are draft-induced. Um, it could create condensation. 
and so that's why you have to have a proper size liner so if we weren't putting a water heater in this it would be a four inch chimney liner to match the furnace because coming off the furnace is four inch uh, so we're having a furnace and water heater we want five inch and that's what we're putting in if you got any questions on it bleep bloop them down below yeah. so these here they kind of look like dryer hoses or dryer flex but these are made by uh Selkirk. Um, use these for a while. These are the 40 uh, C5s, expandable. Uh, they're like third. They, I used to get them where they were like two foot, and you can expand them out to five feet. They're a little bit maybe 30 inches, and you pull them out, and you can basically use them uh, instead of getting the metal B vent. You know, you got to get a bunch of pieces together in the 90s, these flex um they work real well i keep these in stock just when i do an 80 percent furnace so as you can see this thing's just uh easy flexible and they're they're code i mean it may be in some jurisdictions they're not but these things work great so i like using these uh tight titan outlets uh get these on uh, supplyhouse.com Real people, real service, not a sponsor of the show. Wish they were. Uh, but yeah, no, these here work great. I normally put these on the higher end jobs, even though this is only a Concord system. I mean, the house is pretty nice. They're going to be selling it before too long, so I want a nice, clean job. Instead of using the, I'll, I'll use the great foam inside, but you won't be able to see it, and you'll be able to use this, and I'll show you how it goes on. All right, I'm going to try to do this one-handed. So see the opening's pretty good size. And this here will just slide over. Like I said, I'm trying to do this one handed. Just like that. And that once I get once I secure it, it'll be nice and sealed. And it's got a clamp that goes around there. Um, nice clean job, no hackery. Should throw a level on that because it's there we go. A little bit. Just a touch, but yeah, all, right. Uh, all right, so yeah, that's uh, makes a nice clean job, and it's all sealed up. Like I said, I'll go inside and spray some. Uh, great foam inside and um, make it look really nice.
Okay, I have updates. We are finally done. Tyler's picking up, vacuuming. Uh, got all the duct work done finally. It took us about two and a half days. All the duct work is finally done. Um, wasn't real bad. Uh, usually something like this, two and a half, three days is usually what it takes. Uh, this was a pretty simple, simple one. Um, so yeah, we got the liner down, uh, got the vent done here. Um, everything's all dialed in. And uh, I also got our new scan for filters. Um, so if you scan it, you can basically, it goes right to my website. You can order them, drop ship right to your, right to your door. Hotairnow.com, right on the tab, filters. Um, I've had this for a little while, but uh, like I said, I got this idea from Mikey Pipes. A big, huge shout out to him. It's his idea, and I, I appreciate uh, sharing that. Um, so yeah, my uh, customer can basically just scan the QR code, and it'll pull up the, the specific filters for his furnace, and then he just clicks, boom, done, ordered, and the rate drop shipped right to his house, free shipping. So yeah, there's the finished product. Everything turned out nice. Um, we take pride in our installations, as you can tell. Right, Tyler? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Tyler's catching on real well. And let me go outside and uh, show you the AC. All right, here's the AC. Um, everything's dialed in, got the Titan cover on. Everything's all, the penetrations are sealed up. I'm gonna have to come back when it gets a little warmer out and add some charge. Uh, good install. Um, and, if you uh, if you got any value out of this content, smash that thumbs up button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing. It really helps the channel out. I'd really appreciate that. I uh, really appreciate the support. And uh, constructive criticisms, fine. Leave them down in the comment section. Uh, I'm always looking to improve. And if you're the one who's smashing that thumbs down button, do that twice. That'd be great, man. I'd really appreciate that. And we'll see you on the next one.